In this video, I'll show you guys how I make liquid culture. I got some distilled bottled water. Some 250 milliliter sterilized mason jars with uh, wide mouth lids. And most importantly, a measuring cup or a scale. I like to do uh, about a 4% weight of simple sugar. The simple sugar I'm using is Caro. It's corn syrup. Ideally, you want to use something that's clear. Uh, people do use sucrose, which is sugar cane. That works, but some people prefer not to use that because then it's bleached. So we take our jar, turn on our scale, remove the lids, zero it. So since we know the volume of this and every milliliter equals one gram, we know how many grams of water can fit in here. So we can just calculate our 4% weight. So here's our calculation. You have 200 milliliters of water times 0 0.04, which is 4%, um, but that's in decimal. So you get eight grams of sugar, but you also must minus that from the total amount of water, which would be about 200 grams. Like I said, every milliliter equals one gram. So you have 200 grams minus eight. So you have 192 grams of water and eight grams of simple sugar. So that gives you 200 milliliters in total with a 4% weight solution of sugar so we're gonna put go ahead and put eight grams in that's good now we're gonna pour our water we kind of went overboard but that is all right you just don't want to go overboard with sugar because anything higher than a 4% is bad. For some reason, it just doesn't like to grow. So we close it up and just give it a shake. You want to label these with liquid culture because anytime you make a concoction of in the lab setting, you always want to have labels. Because you never know if someone's going to open this and drink it or, I don't know, eat it. Out like, like I said, you always want to keep uh, best practices. Okay, now that it's boiling, we're going to put in our simple sugar solution or liquid culture. I like to reuse old jars as well. Make sure it's all mixed up. Perfect. And we're just gonna let it cook for 40 minutes or so. Miracle of editing. So once you have the jars, uh, let them cool down, then you'll want to inoculate it with either um, spores if you have, uh, or, or you can inoculate with your agar. So these, these were done with agar. So you can see it's floating inside, the mycelium nice and healthy, little puffy little clouds inside. Here's our mycelium. You'll take a little wedge and throw it in to your liquid culture solution. Give it a little stir and then you'll start seeing growth. <laughs> 